this is Tass and welcome to my yet another vlog. So today is Sunday so I decided to do some cooking outdoors. It's a beautiful, warm, gorgeous day today. So why not I make use of it and do some cooking on my grill. So I'll be cooking in my clay pot. So whenever I do cooking in my clay pot, I use the separate burner on my grill. So I'll be making a few dishes for my lunch and one of the dishes that I'll be making is uh, drumsticks that's cooked in coconut gravy. So it's not the chicken legs drumsticks, it's the vegetable drumsticks or moringa that's very popular in South India. So in South India, moringa or drumsticks, uh, it's very common uh, used in cooking. Um, and it's a very healthy vegetable. It has amazing health benefits. So in North America, you will find drumsticks being sold at most of the Indian stores. Uh, it will be frozen. So if you um, go and check the frozen aisle, you will find uh, frozen drumsticks. A lot of dishes can be made using drumsticks. So today I'll be cooking the drumsticks in roasted coconut gravy. So for that, first I will be roasting the coconut um, and add some spices to it and make a paste out of it and then I'll cook the drumsticks in that coconut gravy. So it's a very delicious and very flavorful uh, dish. So let's get started and let's make drumsticks in coconut gravy. So first I'm going to turn on the burner and I've placed a clay pan here. So first I'm going to roast the grated coconut so let the pan turn hot the clay pan has turned hot so i'm going to add one tablespoon coconut oil so let it melt i'm going to add one cup grated coconut so we are going to stir fry the grated coconut till it turns light golden in color So to the coconut, I'm also going to add three pearl onions and a few curry leaves. So these are pearl onions or small onions and a few fresh curry leaves. So keep stirring till the coconut turns golden, light golden brown. After a few minutes, as you can see, most of the coconut has started uh, to turn golden brown so that's all we need all right so next i'm going to add all the spices so i'm going to lower the heat to medium i'm adding one teaspoon chili powder so this is regular chili powder so it's hot half teaspoon kashmiri chili powder so this will give a nice uh, vibrant red color quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoon coriander powder. So these are the spices. So now give it a good mix and just stir fry for two minutes, that's all. So we shouldn't be burning the spices. So I'm going to turn off the heat and remove the clay pan from the burner. All right, so this is good. Let it uh, cool down for a few minutes and then we can grind this into a paste. The roasted coconut has cooled down. So now I'm going to add to a blender jar. To this add one cup of water and let's grind this to a smooth paste. So I'm going to place this clay pot. So let it turn hot and then we can add the roasted coconut paste, drumsticks, and all other ingredients. The clay pot has turned hot, so I'm adding one tablespoon coconut oil. So to the oil, I'm adding one teaspoon mustard seeds. So let the mustard seeds splutter. When the mustard seeds splutter, don't be too close to the clay pot. Uh, it can splash onto your face, so it's good to keep uh, distancing from the mustard seeds. So next I'm adding some curry leaves. So now add the roasted coconut gravy. So now rinse the blender jar with one cup of water. Add that liquid to the pot. 
to this I'm going to add drumsticks so here are the uh, cut drumsticks around 3 inches long and I've taken around 20 of them like that also adding some pearl onions I'm going to add it as whole so around uh, 7 pearl onions and 2 green chilies chopped adding 1 teaspoon salt so give it a good mix so in a bowl I have added 2 inch slice fresh tamarind and I have added half cup lukewarm water so let it soak for 10 minutes and then we can extract the tamarind juice out of it so next let's add the tamarind extract I've squeezed the tamarind soaked in water and I have um, extracted the juice from it so I'm going to add that so this is around half cup so give it a good mix so now give it a taste and if you need more salt you can add that so cover it with a lid and let cook for 15 to 20 minutes till the drumsticks have turned soft and also the small onions have cooked well here is a tip instead of drumsticks you can also add okra or even eggplant um, so one of the ways of making fish curry is to cook the fish in roasted coconut gravy so you can also add um, pieces of fish like um, you can add salmon or kingfish or um, pomfret or even sardines so let's see what's happening to our curry here yeah, I just opened the light. Right, so it's coming out good. I have to cook this for five more minutes till the drumsticks turn soft. It's not yet soft, so let it cook. So you need to keep it covered and cook it. So look at that beautiful color. After 20 minutes of cooking, so here is the drumsticks that's getting cooked in roasted coconut gravy. So the drumsticks have turned soft. Uh, so let's turn off the heat and keep it covered for a few more minutes. So here are the long beans. So I'm going to make long bean stir fry. So I'm going to take a few of these together I'm going to stack these together and then I'm going to cut this into one inch slices next let's make long bean stir fry so I've placed a saucepan over medium heat it has turned hot so adding one and a half tablespoon coconut oil the oil has turned hot so I'm adding one teaspoon mustard seeds so let the seeds splutter and add two whole dried red chili and some curry leaves to this I'm going to add eight pearl onions or small onions chopped seasoned with half teaspoon salt So now let's add the long beans chopped. So this is around 4 cups. So I'm adding half cup water. So cover the pan with a lid and let the long beans turn soft. And after that we can add some spices and grated coconut. And then we can stir fry. So after 5 minutes all the water has dried off and the long beans have cooked uh, well it has turned soft next I'm going to add half teaspoon turmeric powder and one teaspoon chili powder one teaspoon salt so stir fry to this going to add half cup grated coconut I have increased the heat to medium high and let's stir fry till the coconut turns golden brown so that's when the stir fry will taste good so here is the long bean stir fry with the coconut so this has turned out good so i'm going to remove the pan from the heat and keep it covered
let's make coconut and yogurt curry so this is a very simple curry that can be uh, served along with rice so for that into a blender jar I'm going to add half cup grated coconut half cup yogurt so this is plain yogurt half teaspoon turmeric powder one teaspoon cumin seeds two green chilies chopped one cup water so let's grind all these together into a paste so i'm heating a saucepan over medium heat so let it turn hot so add one tablespoon coconut oil so the oil has turned hot so let's add one teaspoon mustard seeds and let it splatter two whole dried red chilies and a few curry leaves to this let's add the coconut and yogurt mixture so rinse the blender with half cup of water so add that so give it a good mix i've also added one teaspoon salt to this let's cook this for three to four minutes that's all so when the gravy comes to a slight boil we can uh, remove the pan from the heat so we don't have to overcook this so the curry has come to a slight boil so now I'm going to turn off the heat and cover with a lid and keep it covered for a few minutes so here's my Sunday lunch so this is Kerala style vegetarian lunch so here I have drumsticks cooked in roasted coconut gravy and I cooked this in the clay pan and here is the long bean stir fry with grated coconut uh, yogurt and coconut curry so I'll be serving with the rice this is white rice sona masuri rice and I also have gooseberry pickle that I made a, a couple of weeks ago so I kept this in the refrigerator so I'm going to serve everything on this plate I love this plate when I make a few dishes Kerala style I always serve on this plate so I'm going to serve the rice so there it goes in the drumsticks so next goes in long bean stir fry with grated coconut some curry here and finally some gooseberry pickle here is my Kerala style vegetarian lunch uh, so I have served everything along with white rice so here is the drumsticks cooked in roasted coconut gravy and I cooked this in the clay pan couldn't get any better so this is the long beans uh, stir fry with grated coconut yogurt and coconut curry and uh, my gooseberry pickle so I'm going to enjoy this Kerala style vegetarian lunch. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.